see that that building just there? That's it. Yeah, park on the right hand side here. Okay, yeah, go, go, go. Manchester, that that footage, there was no evidence it came from your gas chamber. Lies! Lies! Do you even know what goes on in your gas chambers? You lying scumbags! How do you live with yourself? How do you sleep at night torturing these beautiful animals? Listen to their screams! Gas is torture! Stop the slaughter! scumbags of pilgrims how long have you been torturing these pigs for with impunity how do you sleep at night hearing the screams of those desperate six month old pigs as they suffer in darkness in their own shit? shame on you how do you sleep at night promoting this to the public who are completely unaware of what you are doing to pigs and every other scumbag company that tortures pigs in gas chambers. Well, the game is up, isn't it? The game is up. Everyone knows now it's on Amazon Prime for the world to see. It's out there for everyone to see forever. You are torturing animals and claiming that you have the high welfare standards. Nonsense! Animal abusers, shame on you. Shame on you!
hiding behind your corporation, but you're made up of individuals. Individuals who help make this business a success. That's your job, isn't it? We see you over in America getting contracts with California. We see you over in Asia trying to torture more pigs, corporate scumbags. How do you live with yourself? pressure on this company for torturing okay. pigs. Okay, yeah. okay. What, so you're gonna stay, how long are you planning on staying for? Uh, uh, for? Probably three weeks. We've got campers out there. Okay, um, you are aware that at the minute, obviously, <clears throat> it's trespass. Okay. Because you're not, you're not wanted in the building. Oh, aren't we? I don't know. They, yeah. haven't, they haven't told us yet. Yeah. Okay, just, yeah. Okay. So that's fine. So you, you, are you saying that we should leave? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll continue our protest out there then. You can go outside yet? Yeah, yeah. no worries. Thank okay. You. Well, they are torturing pigs, are you going to look into that? I don't know. I, I'll, I'll Shame on you, pilgrims! Shame on you! S corporate scum torturing poor pigs! How do you live with yourself? Pilgrims torture animals! Everyone in here is complicit! Everyone in here is complicit! You are cl complicit in the worst, the worst torture! How do you live with yourself, corporate scum? Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! I'm sure the public would be very happy to know the public who 
have no idea about gas chambers. Gas is torture. Stop the slaughter. Pigs deserve fundamental rights to be protected from scumbags like you. Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Officer, why are you protecting these corporate scumbags who gas pigs with impunity and torture them? Who torture innocent animals? Where is your compassion? Where is your empathy? Where is your integrity? Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Pilgrims, come and hear, hear your victims. Hear them, innocent pigs screaming in darkness while you sit in comfort. You're the worst kind of disgusting. You're the worst kind of sick. How do you live with yourself? You need to change. Just quit your job here. Stop propping up an industry that does this to pigs. Listen to your victims. Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Watch the pigs suffer in your gas chambers. How do you sleep at night taking a nice big fat paycheck from the worst kind of animal abuse that you can think of? Would you like to be treated like you treat the pigs? No, you wouldn't. So why do you think it's okay to torture pigs and lie to the public? You, you there, how do you live with yourself propping up this company? Where is your accountability? Where is your personal accountability? Where is your accountability? How can you sleep at night? You are torturing pigs and the public are disgusted with you. Disgusted with you. The public are disgusted with you. How do you sleep at night? Talk, listen to them. Listen to them. How does it feel to hear the voices of your victims? These pigs that you're hearing scream right now deserve the right not to be abused, not to have their right to life violated, and not to be tortured in gas chambers. Shame on pilgrims. If you think vegans are loud, you should hear the screams inside of your own gas chamber. You should hear their screams. Listen to them. Have you seen Pignorant? Have you seen how he exposed your gas chamber? You fools. You fools. You think you can get away with abusing animals in gas chambers and no one found out? You think you can get away with that? Scott free? Go home? Have a nice cup of tea and forget all about it? Each and every one of you are complicit in the disgusting torture that goes on in your gas chambers and for violating the rights of these animals. What about the free range farm that we exposed in Norfolk, Norfolk Free Range, that was supplying pilgrims in Spalding for years. Did you see the workers bash the pigs with an iron bar? You corporate scum who have nice clean hands, but there's blood all over you. We see straight through you. You like to just put out the nice propaganda with your PR campaigns and your lies and propaganda and nonsense and you lie to the public. But you don't mind if farmers abuse animals and send them off to you as long as no one finds out about it. Your dirty secrets are no longer hidden. You cannot hide behind secrecy and you cannot abuse animals with impunity. Listen to the screams of your victims, you disgusting animal abusers. Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Shame on pilgrims. Shame on pilgrims. Shame on pilgrims. Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Oh, it's just a public car park. Okay. Which is fine. So at the minute, you, you <coughs> legally got a right to protest, but we 
you need to be able to public land. Okay. okay. So there's a couple of different options we've got okay. for you. So one of the options is where we parked our cars, there's a where the park cars are parked, okay. there's a lay-by. Just there. So yeah, so just there. So you should, oh, the building the building can still be seen. Oh, no. The problem is, is obviously you've got that road on the other side, so you should be careful of people coming in and out and that you're not blocking. You have a way to start traffic if we're there. Yeah. Okay. No, so, no problem. So, so there's either that option or the other option. Is that the front there the, over the hill? Yeah, yeah, over the hill. That hill was theirs? Do they own that hill? Uh, have to find out okay. that would be on the on the pavement over that way and um, where they can still see you and obviously people are still going to see you from that side as well um, so that's that's the third they're, they're the different options for that okay. no, second, we'll go over there for now okay yeah. um the second thing are there any more people planning to turn up that you're aware of uh, not that i'm aware of but okay. we hope so okay that's fine i just don't know if you've got any more people that you've you've got that you're uh, we aware of so. we hope so yeah uh, if you just want to join us you're welcome to and and when you knock off what's, they're torturing pigs so how long are we, what's the plan for staying for? <coughs> We're thinking first three weeks, but then we might, maybe six weeks, we'll just depend on, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you can bring earplugs in, so you can work, but. Um, if we move if we move our cars then, are you happy to go and stand in those labels? More than happy to protest legally for okay. this. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll get the cars moved. We'll get the cars moved out. Thank right. you very much, appreciate it. Shame, shame, shame on you! Everyone, let's move over to, 10 meters over here. The officer, kind officers have given us a nice space here to shame pilgrims for their animal abuse. Why don't we show all the police officers your nice little torture chamber in Manchester that you conveniently shut down two weeks after we exposed it. Wow, that was bad PR, wasn't it? But we know you've got two more. We know you've got two more gas chambers, you lying corporate animal abusing scum. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. 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 Shame on pilgrims. 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 Someone get up the pilgrims website and Google who works in this establishment. I think the public will be very interested to know who is propping up torture chambers in the UK. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't the, the public response be interesting? Shame on you, Nick. Shame on you, Nick. You've seen the footage. You've seen it six months ago and you tried to deny it. You called a crisis management expert, didn't you? Officer, officer, is there anything you can do? These people are making me uncomfortable. I hope you're uncomfortable because you torture pigs in gas chambers. You torture pigs in gas chambers with impunity and no accountability. Shame on you. Listen to their screams. We like to share the footage with your customers. We think your customers have a right to know that you are torturing animals. Shame on pilgrims. Pilgrims pride are animal abusers. Secrets being exposed. Pigs want to live just like us. Pilgrim shame. Pilgrim shame. There's never an excuse for animal abuse. There's never an excuse for animal abuse. All right, we're going to go now. See ya. We're not going. We're not going to let you off the hook. Shame on you, pilgrims, you animal abusing scumbags. How? Can you live with yourself? Do you have children? Do your children know that you torture pigs? Does your family schools know that you are animal torturers? I wonder what they would think about it, that you torture animals. How can you live with yourself? You should be ashamed of yourself. Listen to the screams of your victims. Can you hear those poor pigs suffering to death in their own feces and urine while no one helps them and while you laugh in your offices nice and comfortable?
That isn't right, is it? That is not justice. That is not fairness. Why is there no transparency from you? Why are you lying to good-hearted people who think they're doing a good thing by buying your nice RSPCA-assured free-range bullcrap? You know what happens in your gas chambers. You've seen the footage. You are accountable. You are complicit in torturing these poor, innocent, intelligent beings. They are exactly like dogs in every way that matters. And you are making bank off of their suffering. How can you sleep at night, you disgusting animal abusers? I hope everyone that you know finds out about your dirty, hidden secret. At Pilgrims UK, we believe that animal welfare and good business go hand in hand. That's, this is not just because our customers expect and rely on us to be doing the right thing, but also because Exemplary rearing of livestock and ensuring that high welfare standards apply throughout the animal's life. Throughout the animal's life? What about their death? We are vital to ensuring the quality of the meat we sell. The quality of the meat? You are lying to the public. Why don't you put a nice big fat write-up about how you're torturing millions of pigs with impunity for a nice big fat bank check? Why don't you put that there? You lying propagandists. Your propaganda puts Hitler to shame. We are committed to keeping animals safe, comfortable and healthy, embedding high standards across our UK and global supply chains. We have a responsibility to be a leader in animal welfare. Oh, you're the leader, are you? Well, I'd hate to see the one that's fallen behind. If the leader tortures pigs in gas chambers, how can you live with yourself, you lying propagandists? What is this? This is just words on a piece of paper. Who wrote this? We are committed to improving animal welfare standards within the business and with our suppliers based on the five freedoms. What are the five freedoms? Shall we read them? What are the five freedoms? Freedom from hunger and thirst. By providing ready access to fresh water and a diet to maintain full health. So you keep them fed and watered. Wow. 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 Do they get fed and watered on the truck on the way to the gas chamber? Freedom from discomfort by providing an appropriate environment, including shelter and a comfortable resting area. Do they have freedom from discomfort when they're burning from the inside out in your CO2 gas chambers? Do they have freedom from discomfort then? No, they don't. Number three, freedom from pain, injury or disease. Freedom from pain? Freedom from pain. Did the animals at Norfolk Free Range look like they were free from pain? Did the animals inside of your Manchester gas chamber look like they were free from pain? Or did they look like they were suffering in their own feces while you sit in your comfortable office and make a paycheck? But number four, freedom to express normal behavior. Oh really? Does that gas chamber footage look normal to you? No. It might look normal to you, but it doesn't look normal to the general public, does it? No. Freedom to express normal behavior. Is screaming for mercy normal behavior in your eyes? Is defecating out of fear in a dungeon filled with CO2 gas normal behavior to you? Is it? You are lying to the public. You are complicit in animal torture, violating the rights of sentient beings and putting out some of the worst propaganda, some of the worst propaganda I've ever seen. Everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to know what you do to these innocent, defenseless pigs. How can you live with yourself? How do you sleep at night? Number five, number five, freedom from fear and distress. By ensuring conditions and treatment which avoid mental suffering. Wow. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? How disgusting! Freedom from fear and distress? Everyone knows that CO2 induces the worst kind of fear, the worst kind of distress. 
We've known for years, decades, decades. How long have we known that CO2 causes immense fear and distress and pain? Decades. Yet you still continue to make a big fat paycheck off of animal torture. And don't tell me there's no alternative. Don't give us that crap. We know what the alternative is. It's to not do it. So why are you still doing it? Because Pilgrim's Pride are animal abusers. Pilgrim's Pride are animal abusers. Do your customers know that you torture pigs in gas chambers? Torturous. Who are you supplying? Let's look at your suppliers list, shall we? Shall we go and tell the general public about how you torture pigs? and then offload those corpses to supermarkets so that unaware consumers can feed the suffered bodies of sentient beings to their children? Shame on you! Who are these RSPCA officials signing off on this disgusting torture? Shame on all of you! All of you are complicit in the worst kind of animal torture the worst kind of killing and lying to the public. Oh wow, oh wow. Outdoor born, high welfare supply chain. That's really kind of you. So you give them a bit of sunlight before you gas them to death. Wow, aren't you compassionate? Aren't you compassionate? You are the leader in animal welfare and you still torture pigs? Wow, what an indictment on the pork industry. What an indictment on the pig killing industry. What an indictment on you animal abusers who make money from torturing pigs. Are you feeling uncomfortable yet? Are you feeling about half of a percent as uncomfortable as those pigs that are screaming for their lives are feeling? History will remember you, but there's still time to leave the company. There is still time to make amends. There is still time for you to turn this around. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Now everyone in the UK knows that pilgrims torture animals and lie to them. Have you seen Pignorant on Amazon Prime? Have you seen how you're exposed for your disgusting, shameful animal torture, you still have time to resign. The pigs don't get relief, do they? Do you hear them screaming? Do you hear them screaming? Each and every one of you who are currently working here are complicit in propping up an industry that torture pigs in gas chambers. How do you sleep at night? I bet you're all thinking right now, maybe I don't actually want to work for pilgrims because now you know what pilgrims are doing to pigs. If you haven't seen, turn on the TV and watch Pignorant or go to my YouTube channel and see the Manchester torture chamber that pilgrims had running for years. Then you will see that you are complicit in torture, compassion or money. Which one will it be? Pilgrim's Pride are animal abusers. Pilgrim's Pride are animal abusers. Can you take the pressure, a small percentage of the pressure that you put these innocent beings under every single day? By the thousand, by the million every year. How do you live with yourself? Pilgrim's Pride are animal abusers. Pilgrim's Pride are animal abusers. We got plenty of energy, plenty of commitment. Maybe we're as committed to animal rights as you are committed to making money off of their blood and suffering and torture. Whose Mercedes Benz is that in your car park? Did you buy that Mercedes Benz with money made off the suffering of innocent animals? Do you buy these expensive sports cars propping up an industry 
that tortures animals. Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Who is the chief executive of this torture company? Can someone get up his name? Is it Ivan Sequeira, former head of Brazilian meat group Sierra Foods? Interesting. Interesting. Haven't made enough money over there destroying the rainforest in Brazil. Thought you'd come over here and torture some pigs in gas chambers too, eh? Scumbag! How do you sleep at night? Shame on Ivan! Shame oh, on Ivan! Look at this cute little quote from Ivan. I am humbled to have the opportunity to help lead this talented team as we work together, keyword, work together, you're all complicit, work together to continue the proud legacy. The proud legacy. Wow, I'm actually in shock. I'm actually in shock that you're proud of torturing pigs. Wow, this has actually shocked me. And I, I just don't have any expectations anymore. Sustainably produced quality pork products to consumers across the UK. I look forward to helping Pilgrims UK realize our vision to be the best and most respected company in our industry. Well, it's not going too well for you, is it, Ivan? Shame on you! Shame on Ivan! 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 Are you in today working together to torture pigs with your team? To continue the proud legacy of animal torture? Are you in today? Which one of these vehicles is Ivan's? What is he driving? 100,000 pound car? 200,000 pound car? You are going to about to get the worst publicity of your life. You are taking the biggest paycheck. Hitler! You are taking the biggest paycheck. I just thought I'd say a few words about Pilgrim's Pride. Parent company JBS, which as we've learned is a Brazilian meat giant. They are the number one killer of chickens in the world. The number one killer of cows in the world and the number two killer of pigs. The control that you can have over a company of that scale is so minimal, which is why we never ever see the pigs getting any improvement in their lives which is why welfare is rubbish and we need to stop killing them entirely so they rely on an annual inspection from the rspca and it is pre-arranged and paid for all of that is that's all they get in terms of their inspections and they will get quarterly inspections from a vet who is also getting paid to be there at a pre-arranged inspection and sustainability was mentioned on their website this is a brazilian meat giant where do you think they're getting all of that feed from it's the rainforest that's been destroyed to grow their feed and they grow at a rate of knots over a kilo a day in their peak it's disgusting i used to uh, work for what used to be referred to as bqp friends and family it's now a uh, pilgrim's pride and uh Believe it or not, probably some of the better welfare in the country. And that is quite a tragic state of affairs. I used to work in the, the Pilgrims gas chambers and you can hear them screaming as you stand way away from the gas chambers on the line. And I used to see um, pairs of lungs coming through once the carcass had been split that were full of blood and water, meaning they would come out of the gas chambers be strung up to be bled and make it to the scalding tank whilst their lungs were still functioning. They still routinely mutilate their pigs, so docking tails without anaesthetic or pain relief, and you still see catastrophic outbreaks of tail biting. Now the other little snippet was that Pilgrim's Pride supply Waitrose own brand, so if you're guys at the back in fluorescent, if you're getting bacon sandwiches from Waitrose, that's from these sick, twisted individuals putting pigs through gas chambers, mutilating them and making them suffer. And in Britain, 50,000 plus pigs a week die on farms, just like the ones that Joey showed in the film, um, from various degrees of neglect, injury, tail biting, stress and disease. And disease is rife. And going through those slaughterhouses, I know I talked about it in the film a little bit, but the amount of disgusting disease that we can catch from pigs 
that is completely missed in slaughterhouses because the line is so fast. We're killing thousands a day in each slaughterhouse and the things that get through in terms of disease in the meat and organs is frankly horrifying. Wow! Thank you for that valuable information, Alice. Not that I had any expectations of an industry that tortures animals with impunity and then humane washes it to the compassionate consumer. How do you live with yourself whilst pigs are screaming and begging for mercy in your torture chambers? Every single one of you sitting in that office right now are complicit in horrific, horrific torture. We don't want you to change the gas. We don't want you to find a humane alternative. We know what the alternative is. You have failed. You have failed the British public. You have constantly abused the animals for money. The only alternative is for you to shut down. Shut down. Shut them down. Can you hear their screams? Or do you try to block it out? I've sifted through hours and hours of your torture. And we've only released three minutes so far. Maybe I'll release everything. Every single pig that suffered in your gas chamber that night. One day, one day of slaughter, one night of placement of cameras, and that's what we saw on a random day? On a random day? Disgusting! Shame, shame, shame on you! 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 You know, we've all got cameras here filming each and every one of these words. So the protest continues online. You can no longer hide. Where is your morality? Where is your integrity? Pilgrims! Do I sound angry? Do we sound angry? We are angry! Because you should be ashamed of your animal torture methods. How do you sleep at night? Listen to those six month old pigs scream for their lives inside of Pilgrim's Pride gas chambers. How disgusting, how unethical, how immoral. Oh, I'm sorry, is this an inconvenience to you? Is this ruining your day at work while you work towards torturing more pigs in gas chambers? Is it uncomfortable? Is it inconvenient? I'm pretty certain that the pigs are more inconvenienced than you are right now and they suffer in their own shit in torture chambers. Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Listen to their screams! Listen to them! I hope they sink into your mind and you can never forget them. Never forget the pigs that you torture with impunity. Listen to their voices. Listen to them. Shame on pilgrims. It doesn't stop at pigs. We know you murder chickens, factory farm chickens who cannot support their body weight and die on their faces in farms. We know you send them to a gas chamber too. Is any animal safe from pilgrims? Is any animal safe? Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Shame on pilgrims! Each and every one of you, to varying degrees, are propping up a company that is torturing pigs en masse. You are corporate scum. You have no soul. You have no empathy. How dare you speak of pride? How dare you have pride in this? I want you to hear those screams. Each one of those animals is suffering. Each one can feel pain like dogs. Listen to these words because we will not just go away. No. We're going to be back. More people are going to join this fight. Do you want
want to be on the wrong side of history? Or do you want to join us in fighting for the liberation of these animals? To the activists that have stood here today, be proud of yourselves. We're fighting against the biggest injustice that we've ever seen. You're on the right side of history. And pilgrims, you are on the wrong side of history. And this will end. Listen to those screams. That is what you pay for if you buy products from Pilgrim's Pride. Suffering of animals. Today is the day to make the change. How dare you use the word humane? You liars. Nick, you dare use the word humane. You know you're lying. You've seen the footage. How could you? How dare you abuse those animals? How dare you murder them? You sick, sick scumbag. I hope their screams haunt you at night. We won't let you forget their screams. You might try to avoid it, but we won't let you forget. This is just day one. Get ready because we're going to keep going. We're not going to stop. As long as you are abusing and murdering pigs, we will be here. We will put the pressure on you. And the UK, the whole of the UK, will know what you have done. Shame on you. We won't let you forget their screams. You disgusting animal abusers. You are sick. You are sick to do this to sentient beings. We won't let you forget. Their screams will haunt you at night. I promise you. You still have an opportunity to turn your life around. I turned my life around and even an ex-gang member can understand kindergarten ethics. Can you hear the screams? Listen. For how many years have you been torturing animals in this way? How come none of you spoke up sooner? Why did you remain silent while these pigs screamed for mercy? Why did it take me to expose it? Where is your dignity? Where is your humanity? Why don't you go to my YouTube channel right now, Joey Carbstrong YouTube channel, and type in UK gas chamber. Then you'll see your victims suffering to death in their own shit. How disgraceful! Or have you already seen it nine months ago? If you didn't know, now you know. What are you gonna do about it? Are you going to leave this animal torturing company? Or are you gonna continue to put your hard work and effort and ingenuity into torturing more pigs. We know there are levels of accountability. We know there are levels of complicity. Ivan, it starts with you. How about you, Nick? And then everyone else working together. Who works on the propaganda campaigns? Who works on the humane lies? Who works on tricking the public? Who works on securing more contracts overseas? Who? Shame on you! Did you have a nice comfortable nine months not doing nothing about the gas chamber expose? Did you? Hoping it goes away. Hoping we all forget. But then Pignorant comes out, and then you can no longer hide. Did you think I'd forgotten? Did you think we would forget? Did you think we would let you get away with it? Anyone would think that hearing those screams would bring out an ounce of empathy. Do you not have an ounce? Do you not have an ounce of empathy for the pigs that you torture en masse for a paycheck? How disgusting. Why aren't you doing anything about their screams for mercy? Why aren't you taking action? Why aren't you shutting down your disgusting torture chambers? Why? We want to know 
what you have done for the last nine months. You shut down one. Why have you not taken action by shutting down all of your gas chambers? What have you been doing for the last nine months? Continue to get paycheck after paycheck off of the torture, the literal torture, and the violation of the rights of pigs and chickens. They are innocent beings and vulnerable beings and have no protection. So you corporate animal abusing scumbags can aid and abet in their slaughter with impunity. That's not justice. That's not fairness. Have you seen the footage from your torture chambers? They suffer to death in their own feces, infant animals who have no comprehension of what's happening to them. How can you live with yourself? Honestly, honestly, disgusting, disgraceful. Where is your humanity? Where is your integrity? Where is your empathy? You should be ashamed of yourself. See for yourself that we are not being hyperbolic. We are not being overly emotional. They are literally, by definition, torturing animals for money. Shame, shame, shame on you. 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 Do you work for them, mate? Do you work for pilgrims? You don't work for pilgrims? Ah, uh, you don't? Ah, it's your last day. Good. They never come back. Yeah. God bless you. Someone with an ounce of empathy. Watch the footage. Shame on pilgrims. Shame on pilgrims. How complicit are you? You. You can leave this company at any time. I'm sure your skills would be valuable elsewhere in another company where they don't torture pigs in gas chambers. You have a decision to make. Look at the footage and decide if you want to prop up a company like this. If you're still working here by Monday, we know that you've made your choice and that you too support the worst kind of animal abuse. The worst. Because once you've seen it, how can you continue to work for pilgrims when they are animal abusers? Shame on you. Shame on you. How do you live with yourself? How do you live with yourself? Listen to the pigs scream for their lives in CO2 gas chambers. Listen to them. Listen to them. Shame on you. Shame on you. Listen to their screams. How do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? How do, did you buy that Mercedes off of the suffering and blood of slaughtered pigs? Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame on pilgrims, animal abusers! Let's let the public know the faces behind the torture chambers. Shame on pilgrims! Look at us! Listen to their screams! Listen to the screams of these six-month-old pigs that are getting lowered in to CO2 gas chambers and suffer and die. Shame on pilgrims, animal abusers. Pilgrims, are you trying to avoid accountability? Why aren't you proud of your animal torture? Why don't you come out here and face us and say it loud and proud that you're happy to torture animals for a paycheck. If you had even an ounce of empathy, it doesn't take much. You 
would see that working at Pilgrims means that you're complicit in animal torture. You cannot avoid it. Whilst you have your gas chambers operating, you are knowingly complicit in the torture of sentient beings, conscious beings, curious beings, playful beings, beautiful animals, beautiful animals, and you torment them and torture them for a paycheck. Listen to their screams. We have to listen to their screams. We have to listen to them. Where is your accountability? Listen to their screams. Listen to their screams. So now they get to go home in comfort while these pigs scream for their lives in their gas chambers. How is that fair? Shocking treatment of animals, shocking. It's been a long day. I think I've said everything I need to say. Uh, <clears throat> it's not just about this company. It's about the entire industry, actually. It's not just about the pork industry either. We've got other industries that violate the rights of animals and they, they either torture them or they murder them. I mean, it's one of the two. Uh, and they do so with impunity. And then you have companies like this, Pilgrims. Here comes Nick. Hey Nick, you scumbag! Hey Nick! We know you've seen the footage. We know you've seen the footage. Shame on you! Shame on you! Listen to their screams! Listen to their screams! Listen to their screams! He's already seen it. He's already seen the footage. He seen the footage nine months ago, did nothing. Did nothing. They only shut down the slaughterhouse because of the because of the bad PR. They didn't shut down that slaughterhouse out of compassion because they've still got two more operating. <clears throat> they've all seen the footage. They know they're torturing animals. They don't care. They don't care at this point. If you still work here, you don't care. Um, they're happy to keep lying to the public, keep propagating fairy tales to the public so they don't know that they're actually purchasing some of the most horrific animal, animal abuse and torture on earth. Shame on them, shame on this company and all the rest of them that operate gas chambers. And uh, yeah, thank you all for coming out here today. Well done, um, Thank you all. Keep speaking up for the animals. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. A lot of work to do still.